Let's now see the solution of uh, a couple of examples, uh, exercises we have here. The first one was uh, to write a script that would calculate the, the area of a rectangular, so it's just length type uh, with uh, the program is itself is not something difficult, but uh, we should exercise at the beginning uh, small things, simple things. So let's uh, start with uh, writing, uh, let's call it calc and I'm uh, using Vim for editing this file. So as usual we, we start uh, with uh, user bin pearl not gin, well user bin pearl and then we type in use strict and use warnings right, this is the beginning of uh, every script and I'll just uh, save it and now I'm using two windows here to make it easier so in the separate window I can type pro and calc uh, just to see that it's uh, sort of compiling and then what we need here is to create my width is equal to let's, let's say 3 and my length equal to 4 and then I type in my width times no, I'm sorry, length and obviously don't need it in the mine so I can just print uh, print it out and then uh, I print out a new line and let's say how it works so if I run this well, I get this error message global symbol length requires length so it's strange because I s I remember I defined it now if you can ah okay so you can see that length here I made a typo so I defined the length uh, h variable and then obviously because of that Pro was complaining that the length here was uh, missing was not uh, defined and that's the error message that I get so global symbol length requires explicit package name so that's maybe unclear to someone who is new to Pro but the meaning is that you haven't defined the variable using my and uh, this is the the case here I hope that now I didn't make the typo again so I as I run it I get 12 which is uh, what we were expecting so uh, now we could improve it a little bit for example I can put I don't have to put the new line separate on uh, a separate line so I can remove this print and instead of uh, semicolon I put a comma and then moved up here the, the new line so I um, can run the code and it, it does the same and prints the new line and if I was removing the new line then uh, coming back here if I run this now you can see that earlier the 12 was on its own and then the prompt came and here the 12 is printed and the prompt is immediately afterwards and uh, probably if you're using Windows you won't see this difference because as, re as, rem as I remember Windows automatically adds a new line anyway but that's just Windows and that's just for that specific part so it's not Perl behaving differently on Windows but the command line or the console of, of, of Windows or the, the command shell uh, behaving differently it won't print your, uh, your the prompt on a line that it has already printed something and uh, in addition we can use here uh, the feature of 510 so if I type in let's see first of all what happens if I replace just that with say the feature that you know about uh, from you might know for in Perl 510 so if I run this now I get uh, this error message first of all a useless use uh, because it doesn't know what we are doing with that multiplication and uh, it can't call the method say here so this is because it doesn't have doesn't know about it if I say use uh, version 510 then it will include the say function as well so now if I run it it works and I don't have to separately say 12 the uh, new line because the say already adds the new line there so that's how you would do the, the first re the very first exercise